What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Bob Arum. Bob Arum states that the Fury Wilder 3 is a wait and see fight. I have to be honest, he says. He says, that's a wait and see fight, I have to be honest. He says, first of all, the immediate problem is that Fury is in England. There's a travel ban. So how do we get Fury over here? Assuming we're going to do the fight in the United States. If you say, well, maybe you do it in the UK. Well, there's a travel ban in the United Kingdom. So how do you get Wilder to the UK? So that's the problem. Wow. Of course, Fury has re remained at home in Manchester since early stages of the current global health crisis. And the unbeaten Brit among a handful of boxers on the top-ranked banner who reside overseas and will struggle to regain re-entry into the U.S. So, a lot of times people are just trying to, they're trying to see and we're waiting when the release date, right? And what people don't realize is that the release date from this type of pandemic and you have travel bans, it's going to be hard to get certain fights. This will be the next big, well, this will be a big fight, okay? And it's going to be a live gate, but again, it might take some time. First of all, Wilder is in... Um, recovery so he can't train until later so a lot of times this is what uh this fight is set for uh was it october 3rd but it could be pushed back who knows you know and, and if that's the case we might run into other problems so if it let's say it happens in december well there's no way that D, that dillian white is going to get his shot at the wbc mandatory by then you know what i mean so they might work out a way to it for it to get pushed back due to the contract obligations. But it's all in the air, and it's a lot of things that Bob Arum brought to attention where you do have a ban. How do you get fighters over here, and how do you get fighters from here over there? You know? But, I mean, I guess they could train or whatnot where they're at and then come over. But then you still have to acclimate to where you're at. You don't want to be all lethargic and stuff like that due to jet lag and things of that nature. So you have to be over here a while to adjust to the climate, I would imagine, you know. So, um, but no, it's kind of like the, the fight is pretty much on hold until we really know what's going on. So, you know, regardless of the contractual agreement, shit happens, right? Just like... Deontay Wilder had to have surgery on his right bicep. Just like the pandemic, shit happens. We don't know what's going to happen yet. So a lot of these fights are wait and see. You know, especially when they're in two different countries, I get that. But, you know, a lot of times the people are wanting this trilogy fight more than ever, especially the Wilder fans. But, you know, you might have to hold and wait out longer. But then again, if you think about it, in this case, if you have Deontay Wilder, uh, Kubrat Pulev, these guys expecting their next bouts because they have a reckoning, because I know Deontay does, and, and Kubrat Pulev is the, the mandatory, it would be better for them if they knew that it, there's a chance the fight could be canceled or put on postponement for a while to take the step aside money, right? Think about it. These guys don't know if boxing will reside, will resume the way we know it. And a fight like a Wilder and Fury 3, they're going to need the live gate to cover these guys' fight purses, okay? Because they can't depend on the revenue. It's, it's, it's too uh, fickle, right? So we don't know how that's going to go. So the only thing that we could, it's a touch and go, but I think those two guys, if they were smart, they would take some, they, they would take some good step aside money and then wait their turn. For Wilder, he, he should wait till he fights um, somebody else, you know, 
But as long as he has the step aside money, that's all he needs to know. He has a check for doing absolutely nothing because, you know, um, I know before his loss, he wasn't necessarily keen, necessarily keen on training. So I think that's a way for him to get some free money. I know Kubrat Pulev, you know, he's been waiting forever anyway. And again, Pulev is is the reason why the first fight with him and Joshua didn't didn't pan out. So he walked away from that. You know, due to whatever, it was his fault and it was his his side, you know, that made that decision. So it wasn't Joshua's side. So, but you know, Bob Arum does bring up you know some good points, and the just the fact is we don't know what how how boxing will go. And obviously, Bob Arum is is hell bent on having it live because again, I just explained why. So there won't be any uh, fights without pay per view. You know, in Bob's eye, especially that particular fight. So he wants the revenue from that, understandably, being the promoter. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Bob Arum's statements. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.